Hey guys, Catherine Shelton from Treasure Hunting with Catherine. So I thought I'd make a video just because a lot of people are wondering what's the deal with all these polls um, that Amazon are putting out for their sellers. So lately on um, Seller Central in the, the corner, there have been some really out there polls that aren't really anything like um, things Amazon have asked us before. Um, on the 11th of March, they had two polls. One of those was, which of the following concerns you the most about selling on Amazon? Um, and the options were, I think, customer returns, A to Z claims, inaccurate changes to product detail pages, or removal of selling privileges. Hmm. Now, see, this is interesting, because I feel like that is the huge, huge elephant in the room with Amazon. Um, they, they kind of mention it throughout their policy files. Um, like so many things in the policy end in failure to do this will result in penalties such as and it's like blocking your listing, correcting your listing or revoking your seller privileges. Um, and there's a lot of horror stories. There's a lot of people out there who say, well, I lost my account. I didn't get any warnings. Someone filed a counterfeit claim against me and I lost and... And I, I, I'm kind of on the fence with these because I, I hear a lot of um, uh, sad stories, like really sad stories about people losing their accounts with Amazon. A lot of the time people did get a warning. A lot of the time they did get several policy, war policy warnings. Um, they ignored them or they didn't take them very seriously. Um, always take a policy warning seriously. Always address it. Always talk to Amazon about it and appeal it. Um, even if it's just a warning, appeal it, um, if, if there's any way that you didn't do what they're accusing you of doing. Um, but moving on from that one, they then had, what general business model do you follow? And this one came up the same day. And the options for that were retail, online only, retail bricks and mortar stores, wholesale, arbitrage, and I wonder what they mean by arbitrage, because that seems the same as retail online or retail with a brick and mortar store. Um, brand owner, manufacturer, private label seller, and other. Hmm. So that's, that's kind of an interesting one, and I'll, I'll explain why it's interesting. It's interesting because I feel Amazon have never really addressed retail arbitrage as a business model. Um... I think a lot of the time the assumption, especially when you read Amazon seller forums, the assumption is that everyone is ordering wholesale and getting invoices. Yet at the same time, to get ungated in various categories, um, you can get ungated with retail receipts. And they're fine with that. They encourage that. I know people have got ungated with Dollar Tree and Trader Joe's and Walmart and anything like that. So Amazon are very well aware that retail arbitrage exists. But they have this very kind of strange, secretive aura where they um, even hide like what products are restricted, what you can't sell on Amazon. And this is where you get into this kind of grey um, Kafka sort of um, atmosphere of we're not going to tell you what products are restricted, but if you sell them, you could lose your selling privileges. Hmm. So it's kind of understandable that people do get a little bit paranoid with Amazon. So then I look today, and there's a third poll up today. And today's poll, it's like the plot thickens even further. And today's the 17th of March. Um, I am confident that Amazon removes privileges from sellers, e.g. takes down their listings or suspends their selling privileges, for good reason. Agree, strongly agree, neither agree nor disagree, disagree, strongly disagree, not applicable. Hmm. See, this is interesting. Now it, it's starting to feel like it's um, like a PR campaign. Um, what's good about this collection of strange polls is it seems that they are listening to the seller community. They're now aware of retail arbitrage. They've actually used those words, arbitrage, online, brick-and-mortar retail. Um, that's really good news for us because they are acknowledging that those are business models that we actually use. Um, what's interesting, though, is, is I feel they've actually taken notice of how 
terrified people are about losing their accounts. Um, and I think it's a very serious concern for sellers because you don't want to invest thousands of dollars into inventory if there's any risk that that may be unsellable because your platform disappears. And I think, honestly, Amazon have probably lost a lot of money because it's very difficult to tell people that FBA is a completely safe investment. It is possible that Amazon will close down your account. Um, and I, I've talked to big sellers. I, I coached a seller last week and it, it's, it's a concern on every level from the small sellers to the big sellers. Um, and everyone is concerned about losing their selling privileges for something they didn't do or something very, very minor that they weren't aware of. Um, and you just have to look at the ambiguity in Amazon's policies, things around, say, multi-packs. I mean, I, I, there's a clear rule that says no multi-packs allowed, yet sellers contact Amazon and they set up multi-packs for them. There are some very unclear rules. Um, so, I, I, I think where Amazon are going with this, my best guess is that this is a PR thing. They're, they're trying to gather results to say, no, it's fine, we, we looked and Amazon sellers are very happy and they can then target this at big sellers to use it as reassurance. I think that's probably the most likely thing that's happening. So they're just collecting data, they're trying to spin that data so it looks like a positive um, and they can show that to big companies. Um, I don't think there's anything sinister going on. I know people are paranoid about answering these polls. They're saying, I don't want to answer it. Amazon will come after me if I say I do retail arbitrage. Amazon will come after me if I'm worried about my selling privileges. No, they're not going to do that because here's the thing. I, I talk to a lot of sellers and some of those sellers are very paranoid about their accounts. Um, some of those sellers are not very worried about their accounts. But there is no correlation whether they are doing good things or bad things. Great sellers are worried about their accounts. Bad sellers, some of them aren't worried about their accounts. Some of them are. So I don't think Amazon is going to base their decisions on what to do with your account on a poll. Um, so I think it's probably a PR thing. I do think it's a positive. I, I actually think this is a positive thing. Um, because I'm hoping that Amazon will actually uh, take stock of their sellers, see how many are doing retail arbitrage, and see whether they can support those sellers better. Um, and I think there are better ways to support people doing retail arbitrage. Um, I think they might need to clarify their rules if they acknowledge retail arbitrage exists. I feel they might need to clarify their rules on restricted products, and I hope that somewhere along the line that will happen. Um, so they will work better with manufacturers. Manufacturers won't file um, frivolous complaints about uh, sellers on Amazon. Um, I do hope that will happen. Um, but I, I think it's good that Amazon knows we exist um, and they're aware of these different models. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, subscribe on YouTube if you were interested in this video. Check out my Facebook group, Treasure Hunting with Catherine, and leave your comments down there. Tell me what you think. I'm, I'm interested in a discussion about this because this is a change. This is, this is something they don't post about a lot. And it would be awesome to hear your theories on where this is all going. Cool. Have a great day. And don't worry about it. It's awesome. Bye.